The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hey there, everyone. It's getting pretty warm out there. It's about noon right now, 1215. Temperatures sitting just shy of the 80 degree mark at 79 degrees here in Roanoke and over in Smith Mountain Lake. South Boston, Lynchburg both at 78 and then Blacksburg at 72. Lewisburg sitting at 66 right now. So temperatures are slowly rising and we're starting to see some isolated showers move into parts of Pocahontas and Greenbrier County up to our north and west. And that is all because of the large scale of things. We have a cold front that is just situated right across the mid Atlantic, stretching from the northeast all the way down into Memphis, Tennessee. And it's going to be bringing some isolated rain chances throughout the rest of the afternoon and into the overnight hours. However, for the next couple of hours, we'll remain dry and partly cloudy with breezy conditions. It's not until about 8 p.m. that we start to see those isolated showers really start to move in. Future tracker is showing mostly cloudy skies starting to build in. We're already starting to see that out towards our west near the NRV and the highlands. That's why temperatures are a little bit fair and a little bit moderate out there, but isolated showers start to move in. They get into the Roanoke Valley right around 7, 8 o'clock, and then they track further and further to the east, getting into Lynchburg and south side. Now, overnight tonight, we'll likely see more isolated showers track here and there, and they'll be very hit or missed, but nonetheless, Mostly cloudy conditions will persist for much of our Tuesday. And once the sun starts to set, we will turn from mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, and we should be all good for trick or treating. Here's a look at your Halloween preview. A couple of showers early on in the morning, but then we'll be turning much colder. Daytime highs will be right around the 50 degree mark tomorrow, and then winds will start to pick up once the sun sets. Here is a look at those winds. It's Pretty breezy out there right now. It'll remain breezy for the remainder of the day. But once we get into tomorrow, winds die off just a little bit. They'll be anywhere from about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But once we hit Wednesday morning at about 12 a.m., they really start to ramp up. And then as we progress into the afternoon hours, you see widespread 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gust for our Wednesday. We'll also likely see some freezing temperatures on Wednesday morning. Temperatures anywhere from the mid 20s to the mid 30s across the board. But Thursday looks even colder. Everyone is in the 20s right here in Roanoke 28, Lewisburg at 20, Monterey 22 in South Boston at 24 degrees. So we'll likely see some frost on Thursday and Friday. However, on Wednesday, it's likely going to be a little bit too windy. So there's not going to be much frost that's able to form. But here's a look at what we're tracking for this week, sort of summing this up. Cold weather moves in on Wednesday. It sticks around with us till Thursday. And then by Friday, more mild air starts to move in. Here's a look at your trick or treat forecast for tomorrow. Rain chances fall off at about 4 p.m. They go down to about 10% and partly cloudy skies will persist. Here is a look at your extended forecast. Once we get through these isolated showers, sunny skies return to the forecast and below average temperatures make a return.